Good morning. I'm back. Um, did you miss me? I was sick in bed with a stomach flu. I'm not too strong yet. But right now, I'm going to try doing a video. It's 11 by 14. Our 640 pound uh, cold press. And um, I think I'm going to just do something quite simple today. I don't have much strength, you know. I have to get back slowly. And today, I'm going to use a, uh, this is a kind of a bluish green. Well, it's not really, it's kind of a gray, but that's what I wanted. And I'm using a, a blue and a burnt sienna. And uh, like that. It's kind of a gray day today. Maybe that's why I'm not painting a, a great scene. I'm going to try to make it simple if I can. You know me though. Can't ever make it go simple. Before I can start spraying it. I'm going to have a little purple right in here. And it's right like that. I like that color too well. Right in here. Okay, on this on this side, what I'm gonna do is um one of my tricks is turn it upside down. Paint upside down. Now this way um uh, you can do it better. Sometimes and sometimes not. But uh, I'm going to use a, um, a dark color. And uh, right here I'm going to put some... I bet you don't know what I'm going to paint, do you? Yes, you do. My favorite subject. And it's easy for me. And uh, that's why I'm doing it today. Because... Not that, not that ambitious. I'm going to have another one come down here. And there's going to be one that's come, going to come way over here like this. And then another one here. And then another one over here. You ever try doing this upside down? It's kind of fun. You don't know what you're doing. Really, but you, and when you turn it up, then you see what you did. And I'm just using Persiana um, uh, Lab um, Purple and uh, a Blue. Okay, that's I'm right near the, there like that. It's pretty wet right now. I'm going to fill it in like that. That's all. I know, you paint backwards, you're going to get a, a different viewpoint. But uh, that's just the way it's going to be today. And um, I'm going to wipe this off so I can turn it back. And I'll turn it back. See what I have. I've got some color there, but it's pretty wet. That's all right, too, because I'm going to bring down these, the same color. I'm going to bring it a little more, a little more green to it, a little more, a little more burnt sienna. And I'm bringing it down like this, put some of this up in here. Because I just want that color up there. And here's another. That's kind of a gray, that's all right. 
do. Still just gonna be simple. Gotta get some red sand in here. Oh, well, that's a lot. But see, I'm not painting a lot today. I'm just showing you a way that you can do it. It might be a winter scene. Could be. Winter's coming. Right now it feels like winter here. It's only in the 60s and it's cold. Put a little more of this right in here, like this. Some of it up in here. I think I'll use my fan brush and uh, pick it up. You know, if, you, if it's real wet, you can't really get the shapes in like you want. But I do want, I got one here and I want it there. I have one right here, back in there. It's going to come up by the moon. Like that. And back. There. See? And then bring that around here. Like that. I like to splash it. Shapes. And even on here, I could splash it a little bit. See, it runs down, but that's alright. Sometimes it does your favor that you wasn't planning on doing. And uh, see how that is? Okay, now you see what happened? It ran down, but it's going to work for me because I'm going to use uh, pine trees here, you see, and I let it dry a little bit, and I, this, it's going to be one of those kind, like that. And then there's one right here. Right here, and one right here. There will be something back in here. I'm using you know, the combination of blues and purples and greens. Um, this is green, and that come down. It's going to be kind of, you know, abstract like I do. Not too detailed. I don't have uh, enough energy to go in detail anymore. Uh, but I think this can go up a little higher. Maybe up to here. See how that goes? And these branches come over here like this. It's easy with a fan brush. Um, I like them because it does you nice. I, I'm going to make a big one come right down, down in here like that. I don't know why. I just change my mind all the time. And this is going to be a bigger one like this. And it'll be going to come over to the moon. See? And I'm going to put the more purple on this one. This is not going to be as tall. 
Maybe a little scrawnier. Who knows? Maybe smaller. Add a little green to it. You know, I've been in bed for all, about four days. And so sick with that flu. And so I'm not so happy, you know. But uh, I know you forgive me. You always do. I love my fans that watch me and I enjoy doing these for you. Now you see that? I'm going to say that yet. And I'm going to bring this over like this. This has some green in it. And it's got to come down and get bigger. As it comes down like this. See? And I'm filling in that with some. Just like that. And right in here, I can bring some small ones. Something like that in the background. I've used a smaller brush for that. And uh, I have a smaller brush like this that some um, might work with this. Let's see. Make this a, a pine tree right in there. Just Fix that moon up a little better. Maybe some branches in front of it, like that. It's kind of crooked though, isn't it? Well, you excuse me today, I hope. Now, I'm going to use this brush and uh, see if I can get a little more shape to, to these with a you know I'm old I'm not anymore I am 98 I was 98 in April and you know if you can paint when you're 98 I guess you, I guess the good Lord helps you you know? And then I'm going to bring it back in here some tall. Like that. I just want to check, make sure my camera is on. Sometimes I forget. Isn't that awful? You forget. I hope you're painting today. You know, it's a good day to paint because it's, at least here it's, it's kind of gloomy. Sun once in a while peeks out, says hello. But that's all. This goes right back in the clouds again. So I guess I'm glad it does that. Uh, right here, I want this. More like that. See, that's better. Then down here, gonna have these branches come way down here like this. Here's some little, and over here, there I am. That's almost pain itself, really. Um, I need to straighten the moon out, and that's not easy. Just use a clear water from around here like this. It got, it got dry, so... Uh, see how that? Goes right there. I may not use any 
my white today because I like this, but it did. I got to bring in this more color right here. Not quite the right color. Something like that. A little bit of shade right there. A little bit right here. Tell you my Bible verse today. It's um, First John one five. It's walking in the light. This is the message which we have heard of Him, which Jesus, and declare unto you that God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with Him, and we walk in darkness. We lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with the other, but with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we decide, deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus is a light. Today, I guess you could kind of say this picture is the light. Jesus is the light. And uh, we can't we walk in darkness, and we have no light in us. I did want to do a little more detail on it. This is a purple with a green. Maybe that comes over the moon, a little bit like that. This could be a little pond or something with the light reflecting. You see, today I'm not doing a great big painting for you. And I'm just kind of take that a shadow like that. And then I'm going to do some more, more work on this other one. You know, Jesus has given me the strength to do this. If you would like to see what happened to me three years ago in August, this coming August, um, look at my video. It's called Painting a Real Event. And I'll tell you, I saw a glimpse of God, and he sent me back to work for him. And I'm so happy to do that. It makes me happy when I'm unhappy when I'm sick. But I think it's kind of neat. It, it's just a simple little painting. But you know, simple little paintings sometimes are very, really, very pretty. And especially if I put my pad on, my if you put the mat on. And this is an old beat-up mat, so you have to forgive it. But see, that does help. And uh, there's one more thing that I would like to, would like to do, is to fix it. Put something like this. Maybe there's another little tree right in there. I think uh, I think I'll leave it alone. Um, I could bring um, color. 
butter. And then taste this. So I'm I'm gonna leave it like that. And I hope today that you are walking in the light with the Lord Jesus. You know, he is a light. And he gives us guidance every day. He helps us with our troubles. Are you troubled today? You know, there's a lot of trouble going on. But Jesus said he is a light. And he's going to help you through all the struggles. And I just hope today that you love him as much as I do. And that you've got him in your heart. All you have to do is repent and turn away from your sin and ask him to come in. And you know, he comes right in and he stays forever. And he'll give us eternal life right then. We won't die. We'll die here on our bodies, but we'll be alive in heaven. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Just you think about all this. And I love you all and hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye. I've got to do a close-up. See if I can get a close-up. A little bit. A little slower if I can. You know, this is hard to do. Well, that's it. Hope you liked it. Bye.